Hello friends, uh, I welcome you once again to this happy and simplified learning. Thank you for checking into my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate water quality index using Microsoft Excel. The concept of water quality index is discussed in another video and the link is provided below. I recommend you to kindly please check it too. And in that video, we talk about what is water quality index and its purposes. Okay. So coming back here, in this video, as I said, I'm going to show you how to calculate water quality index. And for carrying out any water quality index calculation, there are few points that need to be remembered. Okay. Point number one said, so the, what are the different water quality the parameters that are selected for calculating the water quality index okay and these parameters totally depends on the choice of the researchers or depend on the study totally depends on the study type okay however if you select these parameters for uh, uh, water quality index assessment these parameters should have standard limits which is prescribed either by the World Health Organization or the Bureau of, Bureau of Indian Standard or the Indian Council of Medical Research. Okay. And next, the important point we need to remember is that you have to choose which water quality index methods to use because there are various types of uh, water, water quality index methods. Okay. For example, the most commonly used are the weighted aromatic index method, which was developed by Brown et al. And the another water quality index is the Canadian Council of Ministers of the Environment water quality index, and also the National Sanitation Foundation water quality index. Okay, there are many more. However, I'm just I'm just showing you just this most commonly used one. In this, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, overall water quality index using weighted analytic index method, which was developed by Brown and all. Okay, so this is these are the form. These are the formula which is we have to follow when you calculate the Brown and all uh, water quality index method of assessing the WTY. Okay. And we will discuss this in the uh, Excel sheet. Okay, so here in the Excel sheet now. So as I said, uh, these are the uh, formulas on the steps that you have to follow when you uh, adopt the water quality index method developed by Brown. Okay, so now, so for practical purposes, let's assume that water samples are collected from three different sites, that is site one, site two, and site three. And nine parameters are analyzed for the study and the mean value, and the mean value of the various parameters are given here. Okay. So on using the uh, on using the formula given by Brown and all, water quality index of different sampling sites, which are, uh, will be calculated, and the, w, the WQI value obtained will fall under one of the category here. Okay, fall under one of the category. And then that's how we will know what is the overall water quality of each sampling size. Okay, so now to begin with the calculation part, okay, first is, is you have to, you have to, uh, get the standard desirable value of each parameter. So these are the nine parameters studied. So these are the standard values. Okay. And this standard value is the SN value. Okay. So I copy this and paste it into the calculation part here. Okay. Now, so we, so we will start the calculation process. Okay. So step number one for calculating the process. Step number one is this, isn't it? We have to calculate the unit weight value which is the unit weight value of each parameter study. And these parameter studies, as I said, are these. Okay. Then we 
to get the unit weight value first step is what you have to do you have to one is divided by the standard desirable value okay and this will give you the one by sn value for ph and similarly for the other 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 parameters you can just drag it and this will be your one by sn value for all the different parameters okay now what you have to do next is you have to take the summation value okay summation work value because here you see summation of one by sn so you take these summations you go to auto sum okay then this will be your put a so 4.706314 is the summation value of one by sn okay so this number what it is you copy this and paste special because it can change paste value okay so now what summation of s or the since the summation of one by sn is safe for all parameters okay so you just drag it so it's save for all parameters okay so you, so you keep the value of one by sn in there now we have to calculate for the next stage is to calculate the k value now what is the k value so for k value again you have to take is put an equal sign and one is divided by the summation of one by sn okay so what you do is so the k value is will be the same for all again because the one in summation by sn is the same so it will be 0 0.2124848 okay now after finding the k value now it's time to find the unit weight factor that is the WN or WP value. Okay, it's WN. Okay, on, on, on WN. So how to do this? It's very simple. Put equal sign W. I uh, K is what? K is this. We divide K by SN. What is N? Where is SN? SN is this uh, standard desirable value. Okay, this will give you the value of uh, pH unit weight value. And similarly for the other parameters you just drag it and you'll get the result of this okay now go to k value of the first matter and this is how we get it okay so now we need to find again the auto sum value so what you do is you go to auto sum sum it all and in doing so okay in doing so you'll find that the unit wave factor will be equal to one and it's already mentioned in the formula so okay i'll just show you here here they say that a summation of all the selected parameter unit weight factors the blue n is equal to one and we are getting the, the right answer so the blue n the w n value or the blue i value is equal to one so our correction is uh, our calculation is correct so now here uh, now uh, the unit weight factor is obtained and we have computed the step one okay now we go to step number two in step two, we have to find the sub index value. Okay, we have to find the sub index value to obtain the that the sub index value is the QN value. Okay, however, to obtain the QN value, we need to get the ideal value first. So, what is this ideal value? Okay, the ideal value of all parameters is zero except for pH and D. Okay, so it depends on so if, if you incorporate uh, do in your uh, parameters then you, you have to calculate the index value or the, the ideal value for do and ph but in, uh, in, in this case since we incorporate only ph we will calculate the ideal value of ph only okay so now let's calculate the ph now please uh, now what's the, uh, the ideal value of all parameters i said is zero so we keep zero in one okay so since the ideal value of all parameters is zero okay except for ph and do okay the ideal value for ph is seven and the ideal value of do is 14 so if you calculate uh, if you incorporate the uh, ph then you have to keep the ideal value as seven and if you keep uh, do then in case if do is here they have to keep 14 but since we don't incorporate do in our analysis we, we will not use it so we use only the ideal value of ph which is seven now concentration value 
Then we now insert the concentration value of the side one. Since we're doing for side one, so go to where the data is. Okay. Now copy these values. Okay, these are the mean value of side number one. Okay, so you copy them and then you go to the mean value here. Be special because if you put uh, values at that, might change. So therefore, this is special. Okay, so this will be your. These are the mean values. So for pH 7.9, for turbidity 1.3. Let's just cross check. 7.9, 1.3. So correct. Okay. Next. Now we have to calculate a sub index value. So for calculating the sub index value, since all the ideal value are zero, so we we'll just have used the formula. But for pH, you see here it's seven. So you have to use this formula here. So the pH of this side of the side one is 7.9. So let's see 7.9 here. So the formula is 7.9. Now seven minus seven. Okay, seven is here. 8.5. Okay, 8.5. Seven, seven. So when you minus this, by this you get 0 0.9. When you minus this, by this you get 1.5. Okay. So during the process, you might think about, or uh, you might sometimes you get about negative sign, but this negative sign is dismissed because of the parenthesis which is there. Okay. So then 0 0.06 value would be your pH for Q and value. So you take 0 0.6. Okay. But as for the rest, you don't have to do that because the ideal value is zero. So now I just put an equal sign here. Vn is what is Vn? Vn is the mean concentration value. Okay. And you divide the mean concentration value by Sn, which is the standard desirable value, which is 300. Put click here. Okay. Now the same. So the division is the same. Just drag it. Okay. Now this will be your uh, Vn by Sn. Now you have to multiply this value by 100 to get this sub index value. So just put an equals uh, multiplication sign here. 100. Okay, now you'll get the QN value or the sub index value. Okay, now lastly, you'll come to the calculation of WN QN value. So this would be what is WN? WN is where is WN? This is WN, not uh, it should be WN. Okay, here is WN into QN. What is QN value? QN is this, isn't it? So this is what you get. So now you drag for the rest. So it's going to say, okay. Now I'm doing so. Now you need to calculate the step three, which is summation of blue n by q n. What is the summation of blue n by q n? So what you have to do is just go to auto sum, sum it all, and that will be your blue n by q n value. See. Now what is the formula here? Summation step three the, the denominator is summation of blue n by q n summation of blue n is one so this will be your so this will be your value now following the same procedure as I've showed you here for the next other sites okay so you get this value here okay now this will be your wqi value for site one okay so you mark it as this let's say it's mark as right like that. Okay, so similarly, the same procedure would be followed for your other sampling sites. Okay, and on doing so, let's say for this sampling site, before we have three here site one, site two, and site three. On doing so, I'll get this value 15.3 for site one, 9.7, 97.82 for site two, and 9.7, for site two, and then uh, for site three, 42.23. Okay, next. Now you take these, next is you copy all these uh, WQI value of each size and then put it here. Okay, now site one, the index value is 15.5, uh, 22.3, uh, site two is 97.82, site three is 92.32. Okay, so, so now, um, since we have calculated the water quality index of three different sites, we will find out in which, uh, what is the, uh, let's see, what's the, the value that's obtained. I've, I've, I've copied it from the Excel sheet. And as I, I remember that uh, site one, the value is 15.323, site two is 97.82, and site three is 42.83. Okay, so from here, you see that, Site one falls on in between 0 0.25 and 
okay indicating that the water quality from site one is an excellent water quality okay and similarly for site two it falls in between uh, the 976 and 100 so the water quality is very poor okay in quality and site three falls in between 26.50 and which is again okay, okay, the water quality is good you see so with this see we have come to a conclusion that the water quality is inside was excellent very poor in site two and good in site three so now see the analytical data that we got okay it might be if you look at into this it might be difficult to interpret you know, what type of water quality but when using water quality index now it's very easy to say inside one has an excellent water quality and site two has a very poor water quality and why site three has good water so this is actually with this interpretation these are uh, the water quality stages of any of, the, of these three sites can be easily understand by any person or any researchers okay so with this with this we have come to an end of this video and i like to say thank you so much for watching this video and i hope this video will be of great help to you especially for those who are using or calculating water quality index for the first time so with this big thank you and a very very big thank you and then all the best and then thank you for watching my video and then god bless